Hello everybody and welcome to This Week in Ori Collection. My name is Scarface King and today we're going to be discussing the latest update in Ori Collection 1.4.0. Um, a lot of the changes really aren't anything special but there's one change that's kind of fucking massive. So um, to start off, we've got a new item, it's, it's called Gold Up and basically when you start any quest uh there's no event on right now yugi was supposed to start hasn't started yet we don't know when that's starting we don't know when other events are coming so i, I don't know um but yeah so say you go to start this quest here uh let's take a goku whatever in the bottom right corner you can see this little item gold up and that increases your gold that's basically it it increases the gold you get from the quest um, if you want more of that, you're going to have to go to the scene section, which, I mean, they've rearranged the whole menu, so I keep on clicking on the wrong stuff. Um, you're going to have to click on the scene menu. By the way, new scene gacha, especially for this new event going on in the Legend Arena. So, as you can see, I've got a dupe there, and I got myself a gold up item. So, that's how you get them. Uh, I think era medals are just gone. I don't really know. Um, well, they're not gone. They're just gone from that. Anyway. Let's move on to Legend Arena. I feel like that's the most important thing to cover because people kind of go mad over it. So, for a start, how are we going to break this down? So, at the top, up here... Wait, can you see my cursor? You can. Excellent. Okay, so... There's there's f currently four buttons you can click up here, right? The top one is the battle log. That will show all the people that have challenged you. And you can then challenge them back... You get bonus points for, for beating somebody that beat you and stuff like that. So that's kind of cool. Uh, this button here is to show your rank and who's currently number one in the world. And, uh, you know, I'm not really looking to get this high. So, I mean, let's just ignore that. Um, <laughs> but we're doing okay right now. Uh, as you can see, if you click on this button here, the new point shop, the new unit, Momotaro Surugi. From uh, Sakigaki Oto Kojuku. I think I, I fucking butchered that. Um, you can buy him from the shop for 50 points. Uh, the points you get per run vary based on uh, what your rank is and who you're fighting. So make sure to check all the info on that on the website. I've written that all up. I'm not going to go over all of that just now. Um, also in here you're going to see the new 4 star dumbbell item which is the bench press. You've got the gacha tickets as before, which is awesome. The overboost drinks, which are uh, maybe a tad expensive based on how, how difficult it is to get points. But still, you know, probably reasonable for what the item is. Um, and down here you can see you can buy unlimited universal scrolls, which is amazing. Obviously, you still have to earn the points. So it's kind of like a 50-50 trade-up. You're probably going to end up getting less from this store than you were getting from the old battle arena but uh, i can't tell for sure yet um and the item i skipped over was the guaranteed five star ticket this item gives you a guaranteed five star pretty simple right except unlike the gold tickets you can't use them on any banner you can only use them on this banner here the guaranteed five star banner um it doesn't say who's in it but i'm going to go out on a limb and assume there's no jump units in there so Kind of dead. Kind of dead. I'm not going to lie. Um, so as for the battles themselves, same as before, you set up your team up here. This is the team I'm going with for now. Everybody's tweaking their team. So, I mean, like, we'll see what I settle on in the end. But this is what I'm working with right now. And the idea is you beat someone, you get points. You lose to someone, you lose points. If they challenge you and they beat you, you lose points. If they challenge you and they lose, you gain points. So it's kind of cool. Uh, oh, I forgot to go over this button here. This button is the rank rewards. So if you want to get a Koro Sensei, the minimum points you can have to get a Koro Sensei is 1,400. Is that points? I think that's points. So in order to, you know, in order to get a mini 1,400, in order to get orbs as well, 1,700, and in order to get his 5-star, two copies, two copies of his 5-star, which is at least level 1 over boost or victory fodder, and 25 orbs, you're going to need to get over 2,000. I don't know. Yeah, so that is points. That's not rank. So I don't really know exactly um, 
the details on Koro Sensei. I'm going to assume that it's the same as before, and it's like if you get the five star one, he's got overboost. If you get the four star one, he doesn't have a whole level of overboost. Same with the three star one. Uh, if that is the case, I mean, I'm not too bothered not getting an overboost on him, but it would be kind of annoying. Obviously, right now I'm down here. I only have 1,076 points. So I'm in this this rank down here, quite near the bottom. Um, ideally, I want to get to at least here, but, you know, perfect world. I'd like to be up there. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. So the reset button, unlike last season, is on a timer. You can only reset every three minutes. However, in this game mode, if you beat all eight enemies, it will reset regardless of the timer and you'll get bonus points so that's good it's probably not going to happen realistically you're going to come up against a lot of hard enemies you're probably just better off resetting i, I don't know all the details yet uh, but what i do know is you can now refill these stamina tickets so spend five orbs you can refill the stamina tickets i don't know if that's a good or a bad thing we'll we'll see <laughs> but uh let's let's find someone who hasn't got too strong a team we're looking for someone who doesn't have boba Bo ideally that might be difficult you don't have boba Bo and you didn't awaken your ray so i'm gonna give this a go um now up until the end of last season i was just autoing i autoed all the way to 45k points on both my accounts to get the uh the get the, the, the golden gacha tickets there we go um but this season i might have to not auto we'll see uh, so far I've only died once, I believe, and, you know, I just got, I just got dicked on. The, the thing is, when you auto, you don't have full control over who you're hitting and what, uh, you know, who might have a block up or whatever, so, um, people have been asking me what teams they should make. I don't 100% know yet. I've heard a lot of people with a lot of different suggestions, but I think the bottom line is, um, frontline, you're gonna want tanks more than you did before. And backline, you're going to want nukers more than you did before. I think that's how it's going right now. I don't know for sure. Um, I heard Asian guy say on the Discord, like, you want to try and get your speed up as high as possible on your Goku. And then get Goku's ult off and then roll everyone's cooldowns back. Obviously, if you have Goku, that's great. I don't have Goku, so that's not going to work for me. Now, as you can see, I got 20 points there. That's because this guy was the same rank as me. If you win against someone the same rank as you, you get 20 points. If you lose to someone the same rank as you, you lose 20 points. Um, if, for every rank they are above you, that'll go up by one. And for every rank below you, that'll go down by one. And the opposite is true for losses. So for every rank you go up, you'll lose. Every rank above you that you challenge, you'll lose less points. Every rank below you that you challenge, you will lose more points if you lose. Um, and the points will go up based on what rank you're in. So, um, I'm probably going to refill and see, uh, see what's what. See, get, get a feel for this group a little bit. Uh, what's this Kentro got going for him? He's got a Yuna, which is kind of annoying, and a victory Kurapika. But realistically, all Kurapika's going to do is hit Yuna for like... Or would he hit Yuna or would he hit Naruto? I think he'd hit Yuna. So, the only thing I'd really be worried about is like... If I lose two front lines and then Suna dies. But in theory, by that point, Sakuragi should have killed him. Let's give this a go. It's probably not the best idea. As you can see, five orbs. You get ten stamina tickets. Um, is that good? No. It's not. It's just not. All the whales are going to abuse this. And all the guys who are not whales will have no choice but to not rank highly. Or not rank top, 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 top. I don't know what the realistic limits are going to be with the give and take on these points. We'll, we'll have to have a couple of seasons feel it out. But uh, for now, let's jump into this. Bear in mind, these seasons are only one... Uh, how long are they? One week. The seasons are only one week. So to get your Koro Sensei, you have one week. So good luck with that. Oh, you not taking it like a boss. If she can, if we can either kill Naruto, uh, sorry, kill Usopp, or if Yuna can survive long enough to tank his hit. Okay, well, Yuna's going to have to tank his hit. Oh, wait, is he going to attack I? Yeah, he is. But I is fucking tanky anyway. Uh, so... I sometimes forget Usopp does that. It's kind of annoying. But Kurapika's going to kill someone in a minute. 
probably Yuna. I'm hoping... Yeah, I think it's definitely going to be Yuna. Because if he hits Naruto, he won't do any damage anyway. So, Yuna's out. Don't worry. Suna comes in. And Suna's ult is almost ready. Oh, Naruto's actually going to get his ult off first. So, he's going to bring their Yuna to the front row. Which is really nice. Because after that, I can just nuke him with Suna. Now, obviously, if their Suna got his ult off, I would die instantly. Um, but he didn't. Uh, well, I say die instantly. I wouldn't die, but I'd be fucked. Um, so, yeah, nice little win. That should have taken me back into 1-100, so I got four points for that. The higher you are, the more points you get, which is really nice. Um, so, I don't know how long I want this video to go on for, but I'll do, like, maybe one more. Just one more fight. Uh, uh, should I reset that? I don't know. This. Who? Who's this? Oh, oh, they're all victory. No. <laughs> Uh, honestly, if you if you're not 100 percent sure you can kill someone with a soma, probably stay away from them because soma will make things difficult for you. Um, am I worried about that? I kind of am because of their sakuragi. Uh, what what's this this uh, Yamcha running? Yamcha, Soka, Goku. That's pretty standard team to be fair. Fuck, these guys have got stacked teams, you know. Sakuragi front row is going to do more damage, I believe. So that could be a problem. And Suna being in the last slot is definitely a problem. Oh, let's go for this guy. Let's go for this guy. Remember, the, the one thing you, you want 100% avoid is Boba Bo. All the rest of the like powerful units are fairly manageable. Boba Bo is not manageable. He is bullshit RNG hell. <laughs> so, you know... If you've got him, you should probably run him. I personally don't, uh, because I'm a nice person. Uh, now remember, Sakuragi in that support slot, if his HP does not drop below 80%, he will be attacking twice every turn, which is massive if they've got intelligence front lines, because you can sometimes kill them before they ult. Obviously, that includes like characters like Yamcha and Hisoka. So that's pretty good. He also ults before Goku, which is also very, very good. Um, obviously that's going to depend a little bit on what their setup is and where you've got the Sakuragi because if he gets locked or whatever or there's some kind of delay you, you get fucked but you, you know what I'm saying oh, you, Naruto's a beast look at him Look, can, no, can I just say right oh, I'm not going to get a chance oh wait I am no I'm not <laughs> I was just, all I was going to say is Naruto has so much HP that's why he's so good front line. Everyone's going to attack Yuna anyway. But then when she dies, if they decide to turn Naruto, they're not realistically going to kill him. So we got a nice 20 points. A nice, oh sorry, nice 20 rank. Four points. Um, Not rank. Battle score. I got to get these all straight in my head. There's so many fucking different names for things now. Uh, What's this Yamcha got going for him? Mm, victory Sakuragi bottom slot. No thank you. Basically, if you see Sakuragi or Bobobo, and sometimes I would put Goku into that in the bottom slot, and Suna, any of those in, in the far right slot, that's potentially a problem for you. Sakuragi front row is not as big a deal, but obviously he's got Suna back row. You need to be able to kill these guys as quickly as possible. I'm going to reset and one more fight. Um, let's go for... No, he's got Bobobo. Let's not go for him. I think I can win that. I think I can win that. Although, realistically, I suppose Hisoka and Yamcha are going to attack... I? Because she should, in theory, be the lowest HP. I think. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um, I just wanted to quickly check this. So yeah, Naruto is currently sitting at a tasty 16.5k. If you want to run a Luffy leader, you can get that closer to like 20-something k health. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that's a bad idea either. So you can definitely go for that. Uh, Yuna has 14k and I has 11. So they are probably going to target I. The, the back row Yamcha and Ahsoka, 
I'm going to do big boy damage. Kurapika obviously focuses on Yuna because he doesn't know any better. He's like, oh, I've got type advantage. So um, so that's the benefit of the AI. Um, oh, they do actually attack Yuna. Or maybe it's because she was low. I don't fucking know. But they should. Hopefully they won't attack sooner here because that would be a problem. Okay, attack die. That Hisoka cannot be maxed out. That did, like, no fucking damage. He's supposed to be, like, god of damage. Uh, but yeah, Sakuragi coming in clutch. It's like, look how much of a disadvantage it seemed like I was at, and then, like, suddenly almost their entire front row's gone. So... Yeah, no, this is going to be an easy win, I think. Kurapika might kill sooner. But I don't think that's going to be a problem. It's a shame, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. I probably should have gone for Yamcha there. Eh, whatever. I should have focused that on. Eh, I'm kind of messing this up, but it shouldn't be... In fact, Kurapika is going to kill himself with uh, bleed damage, so I should be fine here. Sakuragi's skill does a lot of damage, so that Ahsoka didn't really stand a chance. And who's going to finish it? Is it Naruto? Nope, Kurapika killed himself. So, yeah, you know, there's the downside to Kurapika, I guess. And uh, some more points. Lovely jubbly. Um, I don't know how far I am off Momotoro. I'm guessing I'm quite far uh, I don't know where I can see my points. I guess here. Uh, two more wins will do it. Two more wins will do it. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I kind of just rambled on for fucking 20 minutes. But uh, just trying to get loads of Ori Collection content out there. Because I know people do want it. This is the Legend Arena. I don't know how it's going to develop in the later seasons. But for now, this is what we got. So yeah, I... Uh, I will see you guys in the next Ori Collection video, hopefully whenever the event drops. I don't know when it's going to drop, but yeah. See you then.